The apostrophe is one of the simplest punctuation marks in English, but it seems to cause a lot of problems. Indeed, apostrophe-induced chest pain in members of the grammar police is almost at epidemic proportions. So let's sort this one out. An apostrophe is used for two purposes in English. First, it is used to indicate a possessive. And second, it is used in contractions. An apostrophe is used to indicate a possessive, that is, that something belongs to someone or something. Here are some examples. My brother's dog, meaning the dog belonging to my brother. The cat's pyjamas, meaning the pyjamas belonging to the cat. The book's cover, the cover of the book. The only complexities that arise with this are when we want to make a plural possessive, or when the word we want to make possessive already ends in the letter S. The example we looked at before, the cat's pyjamas, meant the pyjamas belonging to one cat. But suppose we were looking at a bunch of pyjamas that belong to several cats. How would we express that? Well, we simply write the plural of cats and we move the apostrophe to after the S. If the word we wish to make a possessive already ends in the letter S, then there is some debate about what we should do. If we want to make St. James possessive, is it St. James's or St. James? Would it be Charles's or Charles? By convention, it always seems to be Moses and Jesus without an extra S afterwards. But as for the other names, you can really take your pick. For example, in London, you can stroll through St. James's Park. While if you go to Newcastle upon Tyne, you can cheer at St. James Park, the football stadium. As always, whenever there seems to be no grammatically right approach, make sure that you're consistent in yours. A word about pronouns. Yours with an apostrophe, hers with an apostrophe, ours with an apostrophe. None of these are words. They are all incorrect. We don't need apostrophes here because these pronouns are inherently possessive. The other use of an apostrophe is to indicate that letters have been removed in a contraction. And we use contractions commonly in English when we're speaking and when we're writing informal language. But we wouldn't use contractions when we're writing formal, technical, professional English. Didn't is a contraction of did not. And here the apostrophe indicates that there's a letter missing, the letter O. Can't is a contraction of cannot. Here the apostrophe indicates that an N and an O are missing. Should have is a contraction of should have. And here we have an H and an A missing. So the apostrophe can indicate the deletion of one or more letters. The biggest mistake people make when using apostrophes is to use an apostrophe S to denote a plural. An example, you might see in a greengrocer's window the sign that says carrots 50p a pound. Carrot apostrophe S. This is known as the greengrocer's apostrophe in English and it is completely wrong. Open Sundays. Again, we can't use an apostrophe S here simply to make it plural. If pigs could fly, well, there should be no apostrophe there. In every case, these are all very wrong. Using an apostrophe S to make a plural of any word is always wrong. But what about abbreviations? For example, if in an academic department there were several people who had a PhD, would there be several PhDs with an apostrophe S or would it be PhDs without an S, apostrophe S? What about the box containing 20 DVDs? Is it DVD apostrophe S or DVD S? Or what about the office? Are there five PCs or five PCs with or without an apostrophe? And what about numbers? If we're talking about the decade of the 1980s, is it 1980 apostrophe S or is it 1980s without an apostrophe? Suppose we're talking about thousands of trees is it a thousand apostrophe S or is it a thousand S? Well, in every case, we should use no apostrophe because otherwise it really looks like a possessive. 
And whenever we're using abbreviations consisting of a capital letters or numbers, we can make the plural quite un unambiguously for our reader by simply adding the letter S. And indeed, using an apostrophe S in these circumstances makes your writing look rather amateurish. Sometimes people seem to think that apostrophes don't really matter. Like commas, they, they are optional. But of course, apostrophes can change the meaning of a sentence. Look at these three. Those are my sons, those are my sons, those are my sons. They all sound the same, but because of the placing of the apostrophe, they mean very different things. The first mean, those people are my sons. The second mean, those things belong to my son, singular. And the last one means, those things belong to my sons, plural. So we can change meaning with this punctuation mark. So next time you're worried about whether you need an apostrophe or not, just remember it is used for only these two purposes, possessives and contractions. And you should never use an apostrophe S simply to make a word plural. The last word goes to journalist and editor Doug Larson, who when musing about the vagaries of English punctuation noted, if the English language made any sense, a catastrophe would be an apostrophe with fur. If you would like to find out more about writing, why not subscribe to this channel? Or take a look at two of my books, which were written specially for those who find it difficult. Also, you can keep in touch on Twitter and follow my blog, The Business of Discovery. I look forward to seeing you next time.